Hey you guys, it's technical. Um, today I have something super special. Not very important, but it's really special. I will be showing you how to roll up a D and D Dungeons and Dragons 3.5 character. Now, we're gonna start with the character sheet, <coughs> which is usually two pages, front and back. I know it sounds like a lot. It's really not. On the first page, there is all your basic stuff, and then everything else. So, I'll teach you how to do that, and I never actually finished erasing all that. I had other non... it was not a fully drawn up character, so let's name this character <coughs> uh, Techno. Uh, Doug, Techno, Gold, Wolf. Alright, class and level. We are going to be, well, I am going to be showing you how to make a fighter. Okay, fighter. Okay, a race, human. It's the easiest race how to do. It's because it doesn't have any extra racial buffs and stuff that the other races do. <clears throat> Alright, alignment. Let's do good. Deity. Alright. Now, deities are kind of important for the express reason of it shows how you play your character. Basically. Okay. So we are making a good character. Not just a good. Okay, it's going to be Chord. Chaotic Good. Chaotic Good basically means you do. Eh, you base, like, your decisions off of how it would better you, but generally you follow the laws and stuff. Now, you're never evil. You don't straight up do an evil deed like killing somebody out of nowhere. But anything. Humans are a medium sized. Uh, person. They're generally aged like regular humans like you and I. <clears throat> uh, gender, male, height, 6 foot 3 inches, weight 165 pounds, campaign, none. Alright, level 1. Alright, so now, with your abilities, you take 4 D6s, and yeah, uh, if I'll tell you about the stuff as it goes along. Okay, four, four, five, six. Now, <clears throat> the way we always did it, instead of using a d20 and getting a really, really low score like some people do, we roll four d6s and we take out one of the lower numbers. So it would be a six, a four, and a five, which would be a 15. Okay, now I know personally that fighters want dexterity and constitution right so we're gonna wait until the very end of rolling abilities to put these in there alright you do it again now if you get a one you want to re-roll that and you still take out one of the lower numbers only if you get a one though so that's so that, that's just so you don't get stuck with a bad score now that's a six eleven thirteen alright now we do it again you have to do it five total time. Five total times. <clears throat> All right. Now you take out the lowest number. Five, three, three, eleven. All right. <clears throat> do it again. Reroll one. Reroll one. All right. Take out a low number. It's a five, a three, a three, eleven. All right. One more time. Reroll the ones. Take out the lowest numbers. Six, six, three. Fifteen, I think. Fifteen, yeah. Okay. Fifteen, yeah. All right. So now that we're done with that, we want to take the highest two numbers and put them in what we want, which is Constitution and Dexterity. <coughs> I have to roll it one more time. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't realize it was six. Okay, now I take out one of those. 
That's 14. Okay, that's a 5. Okay, there we go. And now we want to space the rest of these evenly between everything else. Now, as a fighter, you're probably going to want to put <clears throat> one of your next highest scores in strength. Because strength is how well you can, you know, lift up a heavy object. And it bases how much you can carry off of all that. So, um, yeah. Now, after that, it's wisdom, intelligence, and charisma. Now, you don't necessarily need charisma. It's just how much people like you. Now, intelligence is better. So you want to put the 13 there. And then the two 11s go between Wisdom and Charisma. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Had to erase right, so and make it all pretty. Alright, now Fighters get a base attack bonus of plus one. Alright, <clears throat> just so you can see what I've done so far. I've taken... I've writ, wrote down all of the upper stuff. The Ability modifier, or the Abilities. And the base attack bonus. We still have a lot to do. It should not take as long, but it could take a little bit of time. <clears throat> now in the book, you're going to want to turn to the ability modifier page, which is up near the front. I'm not sure exactly what page, but I will tell you here in a moment. Okay. Oh, and the base saves. Fortitude for a fighter is a plus two. The will and reflex are zeros. So, <clears throat> that's just because it's really easy to remember. Okay. Now, the ability modifiers is on page 8. So, a 14. Hold on, I gotta move this closer. <clears throat> a 14 has a plus 2. A 15 has a plus 2. Plus 2. 13 has a plus 1. 11 has a 0. So you don't get any additional modifiers from those. However, that plays out differently in the end. Okay, so, yes. All right, now in your fortitude, <clears throat> these are your saving throws. Fortitude deals with constitution. So your constitution is a plus two. Your reflex is deals with dexterity, which is a plus two. And your will deals with wisdom, which is a zero. So you have a four, a two, and a zero. That's strange. Now, your initiative is dex modifier, which is a 2, plus your misc modifiers, which is nothing, but you get an initiative grand total of 2. <clears throat> Alright, so health. I believe fighters get... Now, health is on page 5. Fighters get 10 HP to start out with. <clears throat> Alright, so, next we can do grapple, which is base attack bonus, plus one, strength modifier, two, size modifier, zero. So we have a grapple of three. Alright, we're getting somewhere. So, up here on our AC, armor class, that's what the enemy rolls against you, <clears throat> to see if it hits or misses. <clears throat> so we have a dexterity modifier of 2, size modifier of 0, and that's where that is. So, over here, we, in a fighter, are going to want <clears throat> these class skills. We are going to want climb, we are going to want craft, we're going to want handle animal, we're going to want jump, we're going to want ride, we're going to want swim, and that's it. So, our skill pointer points at level 1 is 2, plus the intelligence modifier, which is 1, which is 3, times 4. So, 3 times 4 is 12. So we get 12 ranks. No, those are skill points. And then we put those here. Okay? So, we really don't need all of these extra stuff. What we really, really need are the ones we X'd out. So, climb is a strength. We get a 2 here. But you don't want to put it in the first box. You want to put it on the line. So, I'll give a close-up. Here. You don't want to put it... Hold on. 
you don't want to put it in the box. You want to put it on the line next to the box for your ability. Oh, 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 yeah, you want to put it on the line, on the box, on the line next to the box so that you don't get confused. <coughs> next, you're going to keep going down the thing, down the line. Craft is intelligence, one. Handle animal is charisma, zero. Jump, strength, two. <coughs> Ride, dex, two. Swim, strength, two. All right, now your ranks. You're going to want to move your ranks in between these. So, <coughs> I usually like to put them between all of them evenly, so that each number is evenly. Like, each number is placed evenly. And you're going to want a calculator during almost all of this, because it's a lot easier to use. So, 12. That would be two per. Two per box. However, if we put two here, two here, two here, two here, that leaves these extra two. But, they're lower. I usually like to make it so it's even. So, we put a 3 here, a 2 here, a 1 up here, <clears throat> a 1 down here. So that would be 1, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay? Now, the problem is that you're probably not going to want to do that. Because you will not want to not be able to do that because of the reason how hard it is to make it fit perfectly. So you're going to want to put two here. You're going to want extra climb, two on climb, if not three on climb. <clears throat> you want craft to be a two, and you want your jump to be higher. That would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Just basically the way I did it is works. So we have a, th a 4, a 3, <clears throat> a 2, a 4, a 4, and a 4. Okay. Now. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so now what we're going to want to do, put the handy dandy calculator off to the side, is see what our feet is. So we're going to want to go to the feet page. <coughs> Pages. Those are spells, spells, magic, combat, equipment, equipment, feats. Alright, get back over here to the feet. Alright. So. What you're going to want is something your character can truly, you believe your character can truly use. Now, <clears throat> you're a fighter, so you probably want something that can help you be a better fighter. Now, this character will be a melee-based fighter, so I'm going to give this character the cleave as a... Well, no, not cleave, power attack. So you, in feet, you do power attack. Page number, 79. Notes, none. For now. <clears throat> okay, so, we have our feet, which doesn't give us anything extra anywhere. So... We can. We don't have to do that. Now we have to get with our equipment. Okay. So we go to the equipment page, <clears throat> and we're probably going to want, you know, basic things. All right. So fighters. Let's see what fighters can use. Fighters use is proficient with simple and martial weapons and all armor, heavy, medium, and light. So, we are probably going to want to give him a martial weapon, such as a longsword.
<coughs> okay. Now, it's a 1d8. It's critical. It's a 19 to a 20 roll times 2. So you times the attack by 2. Okay. It weighs. It doesn't need to weigh. And it is slashing. Range, exit, attack bonus, nothing. It gives not, does not give an attack bonus. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, if I can find a pretty picture, I'll show you what the longsword looks like. All righty. So, the longsword doesn't look that beautiful, but that's it right here. I prefer great swords or bastard swords personally because they're longer. Now, we are going to want to give you. I don't know if you can if, if this character can afford it at this time. Probably just scale mail. <laughs> Alright, so now you're going to want to change pages to your armor protection page. And you're going to want to write down scale mail. And it is a medium type. It has plus four. Its max dexterity is a plus three. <clears throat> its armor check penalty is a minus four. Its spell, arcane spell favor. Failure is a 25%. So 25% of the time, or it's a, either 25% of the time or it's a 25% of a chance that your spell will fail if you have it. Its speed is, it goes five, uh, its speed is <clears throat> 20 over 30 and 15 over 20. So if it's 20 feet, you go you had you, your 15 feet. It's complicated. Its weight is 30 pounds. Okay. So special properties none. All right. Now, right here, with that plus four AC bonus, you're gonna want to go back over to this page at the top where the armor class bonus is, and you do a plus four there. Now, I am going to give this buddy a. Uh, a shield, which will be back here, I believe, in, no, it's not back here, I'm sorry, it's in the armor, yes, shields. I'm going to give this person a shield large steel, and you're going to want to put that in the shield of protective. Large steel shield. Its AC bonus is a plus two. Its weight whoop, whoop, whoop. Or armor check penalty is a minus two. It's a 15% arcane failure. No special properties. And its weight is 15 pounds. <clears throat> Alright, so you're going to want to put the plus two over here. So, here Every character has a base AC of 10. So then you add in what you have. 4, 2, 2. That would be 8. 18. So the enemy has to roll an 18 or better to hit this character. Very cool. I know, right? Uh -huh. Your touch is also an 18. I'm kind of foggy on what that does. And your flat-footed is also an 18. Now I'm really foggy on what those do. I'm not entirely sure. So, your speed, speed as humans, I believe, is 30 feet. Alrighty. So, <clears throat> let's go with carrying capacity, which I'm not sure I remember where that's at.
Okay, I gotta do some math really quick. Hold on. 4 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, so 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4. Times 10. Alright, 190. <coughs> okay. Starts out with 190 gold. <coughs> so that shield was 20. The armor was 50. The sword was 15. That leaves 105 gold for the rest of your gear. Alright, now I should have told you what I just did. I rolled for the gold. How much gold your character starts with, without deducting gold <clears throat> for things like armor, equipment, and stuff. So, fighters get 6 d4s. This is a d4. Now, I should tell you what they all are. A d4. It's a, it's the triangular prism with 4 points. <clears throat> okay? And then, let's move to the next biggest one, which is a d6. The regular dice, like from Monopoly. And then there is the d8, which looks a little more strange. Now, this is the regular basic attack die. And then there's the D10, or the D10 plus the D percentile, which, if you add these together, is a D100. However, if you keep them apart, it's just a D8. No, it's a D10, sorry. This is a D8, these are D10s. Now, the difference between a D10 and a D percentile is a D10 just has regular numbers. A D percentile has zeros on the end. <clears throat> now, next highest is the d12. Then there's the d20 which makes all of your decisions and if it hates you, you're SOL. <clears throat> Anyways, fighters get 6 d4s times 10. So I have a 4, a 3, 2, 2, 4, 4. And that made 190 gold. And I spent some on <clears throat> my armor and shield and weapon. <clears throat> now, I have to find... I don't know what page that's on. I'm going to have to look at the glossary. Four. Ah, release. Release. Okay. Um, <clears throat> page 92. <clears throat> Okay, that is not the right place. <clears throat> Where would this be? I do not know where this is at. I'm so sorry, guys. <clears throat> I really wish I knew all of this by heart, but I don't. This is kind of a learning process for me as well as you. No, I know that sounds weird. Is it near the back? I hope it's not. Adventuring, that might be it. There it is. <clears throat> Alright. My character has 14 strength. So you go to the 14 strength one, and its light load is up to 58 pounds. So you do a dash, 58 LBS. Okay, now that's important. Okay? <clears throat> because, uh, I don't know where it went. Where did it go? Okay, so this is where it went. No, that is not where it went. Where did it go? Oh, it's the paper. Did I? Did I just put it? Oh, there it is. <clears throat> okay. 
So, which is very important how much you carry. Because right here, this is 30 pounds, 15 pounds. That's 45 pounds. You're already almost at the light low. Not to mention your sword, which is, I think it was 14 pounds. <clears throat> Hold on, sorry guys. Six pounds, I'm sorry. So, 45 plus six is 51 pounds. And that's without your backpack and your gear. So, the next one is 58 pounds to... <coughs> Fifty-nine, excuse me. Fifty-nine to one sixteen. And then one seventeen to one seventy-five. Sorry, I wrote that a little big. <clears throat> Alright. And your lift over your head equals your heavy load. So that's 175. Now, your lift off the ground is two times your max load. And your max load is... Hold on. I believe that's your heavy load. If I am correct. Yes. So that would be 175 times 2. 350. Push or drag is 175 times 3, 520, that's a 7, 25 pounds. <clears throat> Alright, so as we're back here, and we've already got our carrying capacity ready, we're, we might as well go to languages. So, here's, I'll show you what I have so far. Here is page 1. At the top, we have the name and the basic character information. Then we have our abilities and ability modifiers, then our saving throws, then our base attack and our grapple, an attack, then we have our skills, our armor class, health points, initiative, and yeah. Now on the back, here is our carrying capacity, our possessions, languages, and wealth. Okay, oh, and containers. All right, now here is the second page so far. We have our feats, which is power attack, and nothing else so far. Now we have this side, which is our experience, armor, racial, class features, and a little drawing of ourselves. So here we have scale mail and large steel shield. That's what we have so far. <clears throat> Now, this video is going to be kind of long because it takes about a half hour to 45 minutes to draw an entire Dungeons & Dragons character. I know it's really long, and I'm sorry, I wish I could do something about it, but I can't. So, our initial languages is common, and our racial language. However, humans don't have a racial because their racial is common, and you get plus intelligence bonus each additional language speak language, equals one skill point. Now, we don't have the speak language little modifier down here. So we can't really use another language. So we only speak common. Now, let's go to and put this here. No, I'm going to use my new necklace as a bookmark. It looks all wicked. Alright, equipment. Let's go to here. We need a backpack. A backpack that's empty. And that will go into containers. Containers. Capacity is up here. Hold on, I gotta find it. I believe it was two square feet. And it weighs two pounds. 
So, we don't put that in our possessions now. So, that's two cut gold. I'm going to keep track of my gold expenditure up here. So, next we're going to need a bedroll, which is one silver. And that will go in our possessions. Location. Backpack. On top. Page reference, 108. It weighs 5 pounds. So, we have our bed bowl. <clears throat> now, with the gold system, it is 100, well, 100, like 100 copper makes a gold, or silver, 100 silver makes a gold, and 100 gold makes a platinum. Now, you have to get your currencies, um, like, transferred. You can't automatically have a hundred one silver if you have a hundred copper you have a hundred copper and then after you get more copper you still have like 300 copper and you, you have to get it transferred to the thing it doesn't automatically happen so next we have a bed roll we want probably we will want a crowbar And that will go inside, of back, on the side of backpack. And his page reference is also 108, and it weighs 5 pounds. Next, we're going to want a flint and steel. Wait, did I write down how much the crowbar is? It's 2 gold. We're going to want a flint and steel, which is 1 gold and it'll go in the backpack <clears throat> also page reference 108 and it weighs nothing next we're going to keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going and keep going keep going keep going Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Trash, trail rations. Times 10. And that would be 50 silver. Eat in the backpack. And it's one pound, so that would be ten pounds. Reference 108. Next, we're going to want a hemp rope. Because it's either hemp or silk, and silk costs a heck of a lot more. And it will be, again, on the side of backpack. Page 108. And hemp ropes weigh 10 pounds. Because it's 50 feet. Alright, now we keep going. Do, 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 do we want torch? Uh, we want a tent. Which is 10 things. And it weighs 20 pounds. Page 108. bottom of the backpack, like it hooks on the underside. And it will be a tent! Yay! And we're going to want torches. <clears throat> Are we going to want torches? Yes, we're going to want five torches. Torches times five. Um, <clears throat> side of the backpack. And 108, and it weighs 5 pounds. Alright, keep going, keep going, and we're going to want a whetstone. In the backpack. 
page 108, and this weighs one pound. <clears throat> Alrighty, and it weigh, it co it costs two copper. Yeah, how about that? And we're gonna want a water skin. Um, over shoulder. Page 108, and it weighs 4 pounds. Alright, now we're going to keep going. We don't really need anything in this class tools and skip kits, because we really don't have all that much stuff. Now, clothing, not much, because we have our armor. Food and drink is lodging and stuff, and then there. Okay, so, let's add up all our expenses, so that would be 15 gold, 51 silver, and 2 copper. Alrighty. So 105 minus 51, no, 15 is 90, however, we're going to go to 89, so we can break it up. We have 100 silver and 100 copper. Now we're going to take that copper and turn it into 98 copper. We're going to take that silver and turn it into 49 silver. Alrighty. So, <clears throat> I'm going to erase the stuff here at the top. And show you what we have so far. Okay. Up here at the top is our possessions. Here is our carrying capacity, our backpack, our wealth, and our languages. That's it for now. That's all we have to do so far. Now, I'm pretty sure this is all we have to do so far. There's not much of a class feature, not really racial traits. Draw the picture later. Experience, there's none. We have zero experience needed for the next level, which is good to know. Now, if you need to know anything, you go to the index, which is where I go. Alrighty. <clears throat> now I gotta find it. Hold on. Not the index, the content page. Sorry about that. The index is in the back. I should have said that. <clears throat> Experience and levels, 144. Ooh, that was one page away. Alright, experience and levels. Let's go back one. No? Back another. Back another! Okay, so let's just keep going back until we find something that looks about right. Because I remember seeing something along the effect. Somewhere. Ah, uh, and no, that's not it. Aging in effect. These are classes. No, those are descriptions. Okay, that's the religion. Okay, keep going there. Okay. It's going to be with. Uh, <clears throat> let's see what experience and levels has to say. Okay. Is it farther back here? No. No, where is it at? Okay. Um, I thought there was an experience per level. Yeah, I don't know where it went. Hmm. It's here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Experience and level def dependent benefits. So, level 2 is at 1,000 experience. Level adjustment. I don't really know what that is. Okay, anyways. So, so far, that's it. 
That's all you've got to do to be able to play this game. Oh, well, that, and you've got to be able to have these. So, for now, that's basically it. I've covered the basics on how to make a human fighter. I'll do a series on these, I guess, on how to make each and every character base, character, race, slash, class. It's going to take a while, just be patient. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been really fun. I uh, enjoy this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share me with your friends because that's always really fun to get new people that likes to watch me make stuff and play games and stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you can see it's me. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyways, yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends, like I just said. And remember, enjoy!